This is the 68KB printed circuit board layout and I'll just explain most of the components that are mounted on this board. As you can see the main part is the 68,000 CPU socket and underneath that socket is number of resistors. They're within the, so when you mount the components on the board make sure you mount these in before the uh, actual IC socket and you might have to cut some of the sides of the socket to be you can mount the uh, socket on the board. Then some of the other uh, integrated circuits on the board are the UARTs which is the 68681 and the 6850 chip and they have the um, 3.6 megahertz clock to run these chips which is mainly for this one here the 3.6 megahertz. Uh, you need a slower or half rate uh, clock for the 68B50 and that's that's usually done through dividing the clock through one of the GAL chips here or um, if you're not going to use the 68681 you can put a 1.8 megahertz clock in, in, in this place here. Now looking at some of the other components, um, here's the reset switch uh, with the um, uh, reset IC. It needs the 0.01 microfarad capacitor to go with it. This is the clock chip to go with the uh, CPU. Two memory chips are the high and the low memory. Uh, the high one is just the only one that's marked upper RAM and this is the lower RAM and they can be DS2 1250AB chips. Following that we'll have a look at the two GAL chips. If you look at the circuit diagram you'll see the functions of either one of these two. There is a link uh, for a missing line from the CPU which I get from one of these chips to the other chip. Now you'll also see a number of terminal connections on, on, on the side of the board and uh, this particular connection here is just for links. Um, this is the reset and halt line to the CPU. So you basically link um, this pin R and H and V and A pins for the uh, CPU to run OK. These terminal pins here are for the communication. This is usually the primary terminal uh, comms. You got TX, RX and 0 uh, volts and similar uh, setup here. And if you're using the 68B50 instead of uh, the 68681 chip, there is a lot more connections you can provide, uh, including the 0 RX, TX, uh, ready to send and clear to send. Some of the other connectors here are the uh, output and input of the 68681. And you can see the pin number 1 marked on each one so the pins go one two three four five six seven eight and so on and these are probably the ground pins uh, as far as i can see and and maybe also this pin here uh, again look at the circuit diagram and finally you've got the terminal block here and that's the um, power supply plus five volt zero and you can also provide external reset instead of using the reset um, button on the board and there's a LED here just to show there is power on the board. All these other capacitors that you can see on the board like here, there and um, that are unmarked are all 0.1 microfarad capacitors. They're just bypass caps across the ICs and the 10 microfarad is basically just on the input of the power supply going into the uh, board. Usually I supply uh, power to the board with an external power supply adjusted to slightly above plus 5 volts like 5.1 or something like that and also monitor the, monitor the current uh, when, when the board is running. I think this board runs over 500 milliamps when it's fully populated. Um, there is a few more integrated circuits on the board that I forgot to mention. Uh, one of them is 74LS148 which is the decoder for the um, interrupts from the communication or peripheral chips to the CPU uh, and the other one is the 74LS164 which is a divider. Uh, it can either divide by 4 or 8 that you can select on this um, terminal here. That's the common pin and this is divided by 4, this is divided by 8 and you feed that signal which is R MEM, oh, which is marked RM on the board, back to uh, one of the GAL chips, um, which is the GAL number one, which is this one here, and it goes to uh, pin four, so it goes to that pin there. So um, all together, uh, there's a few more um, chips that are important in uh, running this board.